from KETK. You're watching East Texas Live at 3. Welcome back. We're staying here in Smith County for our next nonprofit, and BJ is here with Sela Life Choices to tell us about their organization. How are you doing today? I am so good. Thank you so much for having me. Yes, ma'am. Can you just tell us a little bit about your organization? Absolutely. We are opening up right here in East Texas in Smith County a safe stabilization home for women rescued out of human trafficking. Yes, ma'am. And what makes it so unique? Well, what's unique about us is that there is literally no other um, safe homes like this in anywhere in our area. There's only about 20 in the U.S. completely. And um, and so to be able to offer this right here in this hot spot of human trafficking in East Texas is huge. Yes, I mean, you know, what's the biggest obstacle y'all are facing right now? Yeah, right now the, the biggest obstacle is probably actually opening our home and purchasing our home. It's a, we're looking at $1.7 million for our home um, and the first year of operating expenses and all of our capital, um, capital needs. Yes, I mean, how could people at immediately help y'all. Yeah, so obviously through financial donations, uh, through prayer, prayer is huge. We are a faith-based organization, a faith-based ministry. Um, East Texas Giving Day obviously is tomorrow, uh, so if they can give through that. And um, we also have, we don't at the moment, because we're not open yet, but we hope to be open by late summer, early fall, and we'll need volunteer opportunities. We have, we need welcome bags, we need um, service providers, we need staffing, we have all the things. So there's lots of ways for the community to give back. Yes, I mean, you're part of East Texas giving it all that money you raise. What is that going to go towards? Yeah, so it will exactly right now. It will go specifically to purchase our home um, and to cover those initial capital expenses. Uh, like I said, we're on this crunch time of raising one point seven million dollars to be able to effectively open this home to be able to help these human traffic victims. Yes, I mean, just why is a stabilization stabilization home, you know, so important? Yeah, so what we've learned is in the continuum of care, for these women, these victims, these survivors really is what they are, is that if they have this time of stabilization, they're almost 85% more likely to be able to be successful through a long-term program. And so it's very important for us to partner with um, ongoing ministries and nonprofits like um, Refuge of Light and Unbound and ministries like that that work closely with us with law enforcement officers. Um, because what happens when women come from the lifestyle of sex trafficking, when they've been victims sometimes as early as toddlerhood really all the way up they are not ready to get driver's license education to fight to get their children back through CPS or anything like that they're not ready for um, job training they need that up to 90 days to just rest reflect to get grounded to recognize that their bodies are worth more than what somebody has purchased it for and that's what we're created that's what we are created for is to be able to open up to give them that place to get from fight or flight and to really be able to help them to be the most successful to go to not go back to that lifestyle Yes, I mean, is human trafficking, you know, a, a big issue here locally? It's absolutely huge. Texas is number two in the U.S. for human trafficking. Um, and with us right in the middle between like Houston and Dallas, we are, Tyler specifically, is a huge hub um, for human trafficking. And my, I myself was human trafficked right here in Tyler, Texas when I was a little girl. So. Yes, well. well, thank you so much for coming thank in you. and sharing your story and sharing about this organization. Thank you very much. Yes, ma'am. For more information on this organization, you can go to the website right here on your screen.